a beautiful morning and we are back on the road and we are heading where we are heading to chikkamangaluru i am setting the direction apps and here we go welcome back to my channel catch up with mads Okay, so here we have taken the uh, Tumkur uh, Ring Road, uh, which uh, we actually connected to this road via Mysore Road. This road actually is quite convenient uh, because it, uh, we did not face huge traffic, and the road quality is also pretty good. And like my other videos, other vlogs. Even in this vlog, I'll try and give um, all possible details related to our uh, two days, two nights stay at Chikkamangaluru. Check the description box for more details. See, there are a lot of places that you can see in and around the Chikkamangaluru, but uh, since we were going for the very first time, we decided to, uh, you know, cover the major places. um which was very close to chikkamangaluru and yeah somehow we couldn't live early and uh, we happened to leave the house after having uh, breakfast at around uh, 10 o'clock and so we had a small pit stop here at anaga veg restaurant which is a pretty decent restaurant now chikkamangaluru is around 5 hours drive or uh, approximately 6 hour and could be a little more if you're stopping here and there which is around 250 kilometers from bengaluru so um i would suggest you people to start early say around 6:30 7 so that you can reach your destination um uh, by afternoon when we left i think we had a most pleasant and blissful you know uh, ride uh, there was uh, you know there were these clouds that i felt um were following us and were greeting us uh, you know uh, as we took the path and the sun was not that hot this is a couple of months back so it was not during summer season so it was a very pleasant drive then we stopped here uh, near these uh, fields uh, that were filled with flowers i you know i'm a flower lover so i totally love this pit stop i even spoke to these ladies chikmangalura ella hu el martira tondogi chikmangalur hogtira o udpi desthana udpi desthana ಅಲ್ಲಿ ದೇವಸ್ಥಾನಕ್ಕೆ ಬರೋರೆ ತೋಳೋದ್ ಜಾಸ್ತಿ ಅಲ್ವಾ ಸರಿ ಬರ್ತೀವಿ ಸಾರಿ ಫಾರ್ ದಟ್ ಶ್ರಿಲ್ಡ್ ವಾಯ್ಸ್ ಇನ್ ಫ್ಯಾಕ್ಟ್ ಐ ವಾಸ್ ಲಿಟ್ರಲಿ ಸ್ಕ್ರೀಮಿಂಗ್ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ದೇ ವೇರ್ ಕ್ವೈಟ್ ಫಾರ್ ಇನ್ ದಿ ಕುರ್ ಹಿಯರ್ ಮೀ ಓಕೆ ಸೊ ವಿ ಆರ್ ಬ್ಯಾಕ್ ಆನ್ ಟ್ರ್ಯಾಕ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಮೈ ಡಾಟರ್ ಲವ್ ದಿಸ್ ಫೀಲ್ಡ್ ಫುಲ್ ಆಫ್ ಫ್ಲವರ್ಸ್ and yeah please check the description box for all the additional details that i should be providing about this trip okay so here we enter the place which says welcome to the coffee land chikkamangaluru as i mentioned we were already pretty late so we went directly to our resort and uh, we got fresh and uh, we had lunch outside and we left for the hire kolalli lake this is where we stayed for two nights in fact i'll show the place a little more in detail um probably later since we are getting late so we're going to get fresh and uh, we are back on the road again In fact the path to the Hire Kolalli lake was really good um it looked uh, quite uh, hot in fact i was surprised that how can chikmangaluru be this hot but uh, well uh, chikmangaluru rather surprised me it was pretty cold in fact it got a little cold later but uh, this path to Hire Kolalli lake uh was really scenic and uh, with these beautiful uh, you know local houses and 
um, you know the guard sections i think it was a very a very very beautiful drive only suggestion uh, to all you people is to please come to this place early you will know why later in this video It was around 5.15 when we reached here. We parked the car in the parking lot there and there was a huge, uh, you know, uh, queue of, uh, I would say, the cars um, before our, uh, you know, car and we had to walk a long way. Uh, when we reached there, it was almost getting dark because you know it was almost 5 45 is when we reached here it's good to come here um, probably a little early to witness the sunset so some people here who had come early this said uh, they told us that uh, they could actually see the sunset from you know behind these mountain ranges so um, I guess we just missed it so I would suggest you all to come a little early so this is the place uh, in fact it was very dark when I used to use the flash you know the beauty of the place was not getting captured so most of the videos I've shot with the natural light that was there so yeah do not miss this place it's a beautiful place and you can have a you know pleasant evening here with the cool breeze and these mountain ranges around um, you can also uh, take some wonderful photos out here there's a small bridge kind of a structure which takes you um, almost to the center of this lake um, I don't know how strong is this uh, bridge but yeah you can come here uh, if there are not many people, I would suggest you can come here. I don't know if this bridge can hold uh, too many people. So be a little careful. It was a little wobbly wobbly kind of. So it was around 6.45 when we decided to live. It was completely dark. In fact, we used the torchlight and the headlights of the car to actually uh, walk uh, till our, uh, you know, car and then get back to our resort. So this is where we are, back to our resort. Our rooms were in the uh, ground floor and there was another floor which was there on top. And uh, yeah, my daughter had a good time in the pool with her uh, father. So the place is really good. Uh, the ambience here was really nice. Uh, so it's a, a very good resort. It's called as uh, Chirus. So you can book uh, early and you can enjoy your uh, stay here at this resort. Apart from the swimming pool, um, they provide you with the uh, evening snack which my parents are having right now and uh, they had, uh, you know, this campfire, there were two of them, so we had a good time there after, you know, my daughter and my husband uh, came out from the pool, I think they, it was really cold by then, so this really was helpful and then we went to the dining area where you know they provide the breakfast and uh, dinner they have both options of veg and non-veg so you can choose accordingly the food i would say wasn't that great but quite decent enough it was very cold in the morning since it had uh, you know little bit uh, drizzled in the night so it was pretty cold in the morning and uh, yeah the um, you know the mountain that you see from this place, the one which I'm showing you right now, that mountain out there is the Mulayangiri Betta. And yeah, this is the resort. The morning view, we had booked two rooms in the ground floor. And uh, yeah, so we were getting ready to live um, and see uh, this place, the Mulayangiri Betta. If you just notice, you know, it has completely got covered in fog. I'm excited already.
so we had the breakfast at our stay and uh, we had hired this jeep and so here we live since i mentioned already you know this was our first visit so we had asked uh, you know the driver to take us to the important places and so this is the jeep there's ample of uh, space still left uh, my parents and my daughter were sitting in the front and we both were sitting behind so this was the first place where we stopped at the siri cafe and uh, it's a really nice place if you want to have the authentic um, you know chikmangaluru coffee for those of you who do not know chikmangaluru is the coffee capital of india you get different varieties of coffee here and coffee ice cream you get lot of varieties and lot of options that you have so if you're a coffee lover like me you would definitely have to come here at least once they have play area for the kids and uh, you know uh, these uh, you know this whole ambience was really very pleasant there were these ducks also there so we really had a good time here So we are back on the road and we are heading to the Mullayangiri Betta. The roads are pretty good, but there are, uh, you know, um, I would say the condition of road here and there wasn't that great. So if you are um, somebody who is not so comfortable in driving uh, through these, uh, you know, mountain ranges, it's always better to hire a driver or a a jeep or a car the way we did and uh, we used to stop here and there you know wherever the driver um you know he was an experienced one so he used to stop at certain um, you know scenic spots so that's how it was for us you see these barricades uh, on one side of the road but there are places where there are no such barricades as well so you if you just notice here and uh, you know if you're going in a certain season you just see that fog and all those things so you should be really good at driving so we parked our vehicle in this parking lot and it was around uh, 9:45 10 when we started climbing the hill and uh, this is the arch and that's my father who is around 74 years old but he decided to climb um what i would suggest is that if you're too old and uh, you know if you have any knee issues if you see there are no uh, barricades or anything you know there are no railings or anything for you to hold and climb so you have to climb all by yourself so you got to be really careful you see the kind of fog and mist that is surrounded and even you know the steps uh, were a little i would say you know because of rain and other thing a lot of stones that had you know settled on these uh, uh, you know stairs so you got to be very careful if you have any issues health issues then i would suggest to people not to climb this mountain but if you're as enthusiastic as my parents were then of course you can go ahead i was holding my father's hand and i helped him climb they used to take rest every now and then and uh, that's how we reached and that's where we started from there and see the condition of the steps got to be very careful yes this experience was amazing so you got to come here at least once if you're a first time visitor um to chikmangaluru so here we are on top and this is how it looks it took around 35 40 minutes because you know i was um actually holding my parents and you know we were walking little slow so otherwise i think you can reach here in 20 25 minutes you can visit a, a temple a small temple which is there on top of this uh, hill um and this uh, hill is at an altitude of 1950 meters which is also karnataka's 
हाइस्ट पीक सो या दिस इज द टेम्पल एंड द व्यू फ्रॉम देर वॉज ऑल्सो वेरी प्लेजेंट इट वॉज कम्प्लीटली कवर्ड इन फॉग एंड रियली कूडेंट सी एनीथिंग एंड या सो दिस इज द डी टी आफ्टर टेकिंग सम गुड पिक्चर्स हेयर एंड स्पेंडिंग सम क्वालिटी टाइम हेयर वी डिसाइडेड टू लिव and uh, we had lot of options and uh, were a bit confused as well we did not know where we need to go uh, so we decided to go to the baba budan giri dattapita um from here and so see i was holding my parents and yeah we started climbing down the hill my father was a little amazed that he had climbed the hill and in fact i was very proud of my parents as well we are here at the parking lot and uh, see that's where we climbed proud moment and yeah so uh, there were these uh, you know small small stops here and there there was a temple here that we visited on our way to baba budan giri the best part uh, if you're hiring a car with the local driver is that you don't really have to worry about you know the direction because these are places where you know sometimes the maps uh, may not work you know you may not find signal and so many other problems and there would not be enough people on the road as well for you to stop and ask them for the direction so it's always better to come with a driver not just a driver but a driver who is aware of all the places as well here we had a small pit stop to have our uh, chai it was around 12 and then we reached a few other places where we really did not spend much time there was a waterfalls here uh, we just had a view from here and the, then we left you can get inside if you are having plenty of time and uh, want to spend time there but i love this place this was supposed to be a shooting spot that's what our driver told us we had to take a long uh, you know path and uh, reach to this particular spot where we could actually see the mountains all around us um and a wonderful place for good photographs if you're really keen on it was a amazing experience and it was getting quite cloudy so we really did not spend uh, too long a time here and we decided to live now apart from these small small stops that we have taken here and there for some scenic views and photography uh, the places that you can see are uh, the badra wildlife sanctuary the kudremukh national park the hibbe falls and uh, you know there are a few other places which are very popular here so it all depends on the time constraint that you have and uh, you know the number of days that you have planned to spend uh, at chikmangaluru my daughter was pretty excited too so these are some of the clips that she has taken uh while she was sitting in the front seat in our uh, jeep her excitement you know was quite palpable and uh, you know i felt like i shouldn't be disappointing her and uh, this one here she told me like mama this looks like our zizi but well they are just wild flowers there and people one very important thing that uh, we also faced was the problem of finding a good restaurant or hotel or even a small cafe there's actually nothing um in fact nothing great that you can find all uh, along your way so you please carry something um for your lunch and uh, snack and other things because you absolutely won't get anything um in any of these places and our way to baba budan giri was extremely scenic and it had started drizzling and it was completely covered in fog if you just notice here uh, 
you know all drivers they had to use the torch light the headlight uh, to find the path and these were some of the shops that were here but nothing uh, great for you to you know a food to eat or something so yeah so you have to park your car here and then uh, go down the steps to a cave where there is actually a datta pita and this is how the visibility was uh, not not much visible at all it looked like we were going to nowhere and that the steps were also not that clear photography wasn't allowed inside the cave so i uh, really couldn't take any photos or pictures inside the cave there's actually nothing much to see inside the cave as well but uh, since this was one of the top destinations or places to see at uh, chikmangaluru we decided to come here otherwise you can skip this place so after the baba budangiri we left for the z point uh, that's what was told by the driver and look at the road condition it was extremely terrible and with the fog it made uh, the drive itself very difficult so yeah this is the place and can you notice the amount of fog that is covered in fact you can't even see the road that we came from uh you know we've parked the jeep there and all around us it is completely covered in fog absolutely nothing visible this place uh, we were told by the driver is always filled with uh, visitors and tourists but the day we came just look at the place look at the place there were nobody around In fact the experience was truly truly amazing and you shouldn't miss this place what ever be it Sakra sakra patla nadra En kere sir ayin kere aa aa san san nadu yolu gudda mulugide oh sorry aa ayin kere aa nadu kere kadu nadra nadu kada kere antide kaanustilla adu ियंसूरी whenever you visit chikmangaluru do not miss such places i know the roads are bad but you need to come here you won't regret actually <laughs> oh god it is so cold there it's so cold you just can't see anything from here in fact this is called the z point but actually i'm not able to see anything from here uh if you can just notice there are st- there are mountains at a distance there are lakes which is opening up and closing in minutes and seconds so i guess uh, if you people are lucky you will be able to see a lot of things here the view from here is uh, they say is very good there are around three lakes which you can see from here but right now i can't see even a single one so we are just looking from this place In fact, this is where our jeep is. So we're just living. In fact, our driver told us that there is a Jhari Falls if we climb a little on top of the same hill. But we decided to leave the place. Uh, he's showing us which way to go um, to that falls. But we decided to leave because it was also getting dark and the fog was actually increasing. so we really didn't want to take the risk but yes if you are interested you can definitely um go to a higher uh, altitude as well but uh, you need to be really comfortable with your driving otherwise it's going to be very difficult if you can notice here you know the mountain that was there uh is not visible anymore so that's the kind of visibility that was there and the road condition was also not that great so unless you're comfortable in driving 
uh, in such weather conditions and road uh, i would suggest you people to not take risk so here we started climbing down the hills and uh, in the weather condition had improved and we decided to go to the mg road which is there which is very popular here at chikmangaluru the sun had gone down and it was a beautiful evening and the steep bend curves that we were taking as we were going down we went to this uh, street mg road that i just mentioned to buy the authentic chikmangaluru coffee at this shop here which is called the panduranga coffee works which is very famous uh, anybody whom you ask would direct you to this place for good coffee you notice that tumbin i am a big huge fan of priyanshu chatterji and i remembered him when i saw that on the auto uh, written as tumbin okay so this is the shop and uh, again photography was not allowed here so i couldn't um record anything much there so we bought coffee tea uh, the masala chai and some green tea and then we came back to our stay weather had become you know really chill you see that lightning out there at a distance so it was getting cloudy and very cold so this is the reception area and then you have a small uh, room inside where you, you can take the badminton rackets and uh, the carrom board and you can play in this area so that's how we spend the evening then we had dinner went to sleep in the morning we had chelsea greeting us good morning and my daughter was uh, so excited to see her Uh, she in fact gave her some biscuits and she pampered and she really had a fun time with this fellow it was around 7 in the morning so we decided uh, you know to just take a walk a stroll around the place where we were staying uh, before our check out mornings uh, usually at chikmangaluru is very pleasant and uh, unlike you know the cities uh, there is very minimum uh, amount of pollution so you can always spend a quality time we had my daughter played badminton even i played so we had a good time and these are options that you should look around when you visit such places so we came to this uh, stable where there were a few horses and uh, it was very close to where we stayed and so my daughter was very excited so the person there uh, he said okay we'll take you on a ride so he charged uh, i think 100 or 200 bucks and then we uh, took a walk um, and uh, yeah it was a good time that we spent there so whenever you visit such places um you know you should look for such options um unless you look around you won't know what other possibilities are there for you to um you know try out in a new way in a new fashion and uh, you know these are things that you don't get to experience uh, if you are staying in a city so these are some very nice experiences i think we really had a amazing amazing time at chikmangaluru i'm sure we would visit this place again because i think two days is just not sufficient to visit such uh, a beautiful places surrounded by so many other options and uh, um there are so many other places that we couldn't visit at this time of our uh, stay there so we definitely plan to visit here again and uh, yeah i would keep you people updated if at all i visit here again so there would be a vlog again uh, with some new places that we would have seen not sure how soon we can come here because now the schools are also getting reopened so yeah let's see but yes if you've not come to chikmangaluru then it's a must visit place and a few other options that i would say i would suggest um is the z point at the kemengundi 
दिकेदारा फॉल्स दी कोदंडरामा टेम्पल ऑल दीज आर प्लेसेस दैट यू नीड टू सी एंड इफ पॉसिबल यू कैन स्टे एन अदर डे बट येस वी हैड प्लान ओनली फॉर टू डेज देर द मुलायन गिरी बेटा फॉर वन लास्ट टाइम दैर आई एम सींग फ्रॉम दिस रिजॉर्ट दैट वी वेर स्टेइंग इन सो इट वॉज टाइम फॉर अस टू लिव and we decided to visit shavana belagula on our way to bengaluru uh, but that turned out to be an adventurous trip and i'll share all the details relating to that trip uh, from chikmangaluru in my next vlog but before we left chikmangaluru we came here to the siri cafe uh, to have coffee just before we leave i had the coffee ice cream and uh, I even had coffee I don't know why but I really love the taste and this time the ducks were also up and active so we had a good time here before we uh, left for uh, you know shavana belagula looking at my daughter having chips these ducks came to us <laughs> So what you see here now is a black pepper plant which grows as a creeper and uh, the leaves looks uh, it looks like the beetle leaves um and if you notice there you know the small small um, clustered beads kind of a bunch there those are your black peppers in fact find this plant in a lot of places around chikmangaluru it was time for us to live now after having coffee here we uh, were heading straight to shavana belagula from here and i hope this vlog was helpful uh, if so then please like the video share and subscribe to my channel and uh, uh have a watch i would come back with another vlog as soon as possible in karnataka i think chikmangaluru is a place which you can compare to places like uh, you know uti munnar kodaikanal i think it is no less than any of these places which is a very popular destinations in south india if you cannot make to those places i think even otherwise i think you have to visit uh, chikmangaluru it is worth every uh, time spent and uh, a very very amazing experience that we had we visited in the month of november um, but yes uh, um, you know any time in the year i think this place is going to offer you with lot of options to visit and lot of places that you can see so do not miss chikmangaluru that's my only suggestion okay friends thank you so much for watching this vlog along with me stay connected see you all soon in my next vlog till then take care bye bye